Good morning everybody and uh, Euro USD is still very much in a range and it is swinging all over the place so you can see from um, the hourly perspective big move down big move up big move down one thing that is clear and uh, this could be the signal we're waiting for and uh, that is we are rejecting the 150 EMA at the moment now I don't like the way the bodies are closing above it at the moment we do have a crossover of all the moving averages that is brewing right now we have a fairly strong area of what was support uh, which has not been flipped yet but it is something we need to pay attention to and that is at 108.757 we have oscillators all over the place and um, I'm kind of getting to a point now where you know, don't think of this as a base rather think of this as potentially a break out to the downside so i just want to get these other weekly levels in this level here at 108.521 is very important that's a weekly low and then we have a bit of weekly consolidation at 108.251 and you can see how we are respecting those levels quite significant at the moment. So three hour gives us a very clear picture of confusion. You can see big up, big down. The only thing that is constant here is the rejection of the three hour 150 EMA. So could be a case of a trend forming, but we've got strong weekly support here, which is why we're bouncing around like this. So the big question at the moment is are we looking to try and trade this to the downside or should we leave it alone um, and just treat it as a range and if you look at the hour you can see a big move up on thursday a bit of a consolidation i was expecting a buying opportunity here we got a bit of a buying opportunity but then we plummeted. So the US GDP came out, which is good for the dollar. It was positive number, so it's good for the dollar. And uh, that's why you've got the euro falling, because remember it's a euro dollar pair, so we're trading the euro against the dollar. So the dollar was stronger than the euro, which is why the euro is falling. Now, yeah, I'm not entirely convinced of uh, what we're looking at at the moment so um, what would get me convinced I'm just going to just add in another level and then we'll look at this on the 15 minutes um, I just want to pick up you can see the areas that I'm picking up this zone here is quite uh, important as well so we'll get those levels now on the, on the 15 minute but while we get there don't forget to hit that like button and uh, let's have a look here. So you can see with the GDP number it, all over the place, trying very hard to, or even before the GDP number, but uh, trying very hard to find support off 108.600. Uh, you see all these tails here, buyers coming in, but that failed. So I would argue that if we reject 108.521 or even 108.603 then there is probably another opportunity for a move down onto 108.251 does look like it's setting up at the moment but I would be a little bit hesitant at the moment uh, the bigger picture is still a range and it's a it's an expanding range so if I go here if you draw a line along the top here you can see what I mean that's expanding and if you draw one down along the bottom that's expanding so that is a megaphone formation and typically what happens is buyers come in off here and they sell up here so the chance of a swing continuing to swing up above and below the moving averages is very very strong uh, before we close off and just see if there's anything on offer, let's just have a look at the weekly. And I just want to delete all the noise. So have a look at that weekly bar. So we've got a crossover of the oscillator starting to point down. 
we did have a rejection up here and that rejection was pretty much off 110.950 um, strong move down and then a very volatile move back to the upside to come and test it but we are below the 150 EMA we've got a crossover so there's lots of confused signals here there's um, some some bearish structure which you see on the oscillators and then you see with the break below the uh, 150 EMA but um, then if you come down to the lower time frames you're going to see uh, yeah, there's also some bullish structure which is starting to look like a bottom here your oscillators group the downside so a lot of confusion so I think um, for me today is probably this is probably the only thing that does make sense for an, a trade opportunity but it's it's not clear I just want to put the levels back in quickly you can see we're defending this one here at 108471 um, and then your next possible logical levels are as follows so 108518 uh, 108603 and then 108662. This was a strong move yesterday, so this could be a bit of a consolidation. So I'd, I'd be watching it this morning. I think of everything on the table at the moment. This is probably the best opportunity. Uh, but just bear in mind, we are in amongst the moving averages here. So a move up here could be volatile. So probably going to be very small position sizes for a move down. And what you're looking for, to be honest, is not much. You basically looking to come and test you're looking to test 108241 if you get through this then that could set up a bigger break for the range but we're going to have to see a break below it and we're going to have to see a pullback and a rejection of this area before we start getting too excited about that so yeah that's it for me we'll see what happens but I'm more leaning towards sitting quietly in the corner and just not doing anything today but um, I will be paying attention to these levels. It's the only thing I'll be watching today. Hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you uh, tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.